Heyo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction to One Piece Manga Chapter 921. So uh, we're back this week from a break last week, which means I'm really excited for this chapter, uh, because typically when we come back after a break, the chapters are pretty good. Uh, Oda's had that extra week to uh, put in whatever he wants to put in in uh, these chapters. So I'm excited to see what we get into. Uh, we just learned about uh, Toki and her ability to send people to the future. Uh, and I guess 20 years is the time that's passed and she herself probably died. Um, one theory that I had that I talked about a bit last week, I didn't talk about it in the video I think because I didn't think of it until after uh, the live reaction last week. Um, I probably put it in the comments last week and I've talked about it a bit with all of you, but I don't really talk on One Piece forums or stuff anymore, uh, not in the last like year or so at least. So I don't know if anybody else has been saying the same thing, but I assume because the One Piece community is so huge that other people have. But I've been on this theory that we learned that Momonosuke had a baby sister. So I think that that teacher we were shown, the really hot chick with the snake neck and everything, um, I think that she's actually Momonosuke's sister. Uh, because it's a, it seems quite a little bit was put into the design itself and also One Piece kind of has this track record of if they show an arc character the characters generally at least moderately important they don't just introduce characters and give them a few pages of screen time uh, not to do anything with them so I feel like the snake-headed lady is actually gonna be Momonosuke's sister and it's a situation where like there's three options at least really where perhaps it's another Viola situation where she knows about everything that's gone on but she feels trapped within Orochi's empire so to speak so she doesn't do anything about it uh, but she actually doesn't like them or she could know about it and just say you know what Orochi, Orochi did nothing wrong Orochi was right I should have killed the Kozuki's she could be completely brainwashed in that sort of way or she could just not know if she was a baby at the time, she could have been raised these 20 years by Orochi and just think that she's part of that family. Uh, she could have no idea that she's actually a Kozuki. So uh, that's my little theory there, and I think a big reason why it could be done is the same reason it was done in Dress Rosa, because we were introduced to uh, Rebecca and everything, and at the time, early Dress Rosa, it seemed like she was being groomed to be a straw hat, but other than that, uh, it was like, once Luffy saves everyone, Rebecca's kind of a kid. How's she going to rule this place? Uh, so then we get characters like Viola, and we're like, oh, that's the way Oda's writing himself out of it. He has somebody who can be that ruler, uh, rather than this character that's Luffy's friend that isn't mature enough. And that's kind of the same thing again, where it's like, how's Momonosuke going to take over? He's just a kid. Um, once Luffy does save Wano. But if this character is introduced and if she can be brought around to the side of good, then that's again kind of their out to have her be the actual ruler until Momonosuke is old and mature enough. So uh, that again seems like the writing reason why she would be Momonosuke's sister. But either way, that was a lot before getting into actually reading the chapter, but I just wanted to discuss that theory. Uh, before I actually started reading, because there would be no point in discussing it if I, if I like, read and it was actually confirmed here. Um, and that would be kind of disappointing. I would have been bummed that I didn't uh, get that out there. But either way, we're starting off with the Shonen Jump cover. We got uh, Luffy and Zoro on it with this, uh, and Kaido as well, with this nice uh, old Japanese style artwork. Alright, translator page, hang on. Okay, color spread, interesting. Uh, is, yeah, this is Support Girls Tokyo Girls Collection One Piece. And we've got Big Mom, who is a surprising addition here. Uh, Vivi, Boa Hancock, Nami. Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Who's the one on the far left? Is that Tashiki? I guess that's supposed to be Tashiki. I don't, it's difficult because so many of Oda's character designs look exactly the same. So I guess that's Robin beside um, Nami. I was like, I thought that was Robin on the far left, but I guess this is Robin. So now I guess the far left is Tashigi, and then off panel we see uh, Shirahoshi, and Perona's there as well. Alright. Interesting enough. 
Okay, moving along. Okay, now we have the actual chapter. Chapter 921 Shuten Maru. And that name sounds really familiar, but oh well. Uh, we start off with Kineman talking. The field of our final battle will be Onigashima, a strategy meeting in the ruins of Odin Castle. Translators note, of course, Oni being demon and Shima being island. Uh, the base of Kaido and the Hundred Beast Pirates. It's an island. Would we have to cross the sea to get er, <clears throat> to get there, even though it's a part of Wano? Indeed, which means we need a ship. But, because the island is visible from the mainland, we don't need a large galley or sailboat. The day of our battle will fall on the Fire Festival, the once yearly grand festival of the capital. Kaido is believed to be a radiant king and, a pr and the protector of this realm. Okay. On the day of the festival, Orochi and the rest of his shogun procession will travel to Onigashima to pray to Kaido. That is, that's what they'll appear to be doing. In reality, the officials of the city and the Hundred Beast Pirates will have a banquet. I see. They'll be drunk and making fool of themselves, Sasanji. Making fools of themselves, Sasanji. And we'll take them all. Er, we'll take them all in one fell swoop. Their leader too. And when you see my heroic deeds, Okiku, you just might fall for me, rather than that pervy old samurai. Sanji, Kiku's super strong, you know, says, um, Luffy. Huh? No, no, Sanji, please, do not be mistaken, says Kinemon. I have a wife of many years. Kiku is merely my comrade. Oh, Otsuru is doing well, by the way. Oh, Otsuru and Kinemon, my heart. You met her? Yes, without her realizing. I see. I'm glad that she's well. I... I don't think I can meet her just yet, and of course we've seen these, uh, these facial expressions from Tsuru like she knew something. Okay, so this is what it is. She kind of knew all along. Okay. People that are already married shouldn't be popular with the ladies. Not fair, Sanji. Shot it, Snami. Now then, I've combined the information on the day of the battle and the meeting place into a design. The day of the fire festival at the second hour of the bird at Habu Harbor. Okay. Fire, two birds, and a viper. And the symbol of the rebellion, a reverse crescent moon. Huh? Don't worry. People that live in Wano will get it. The second hour of the bird is... in Er... Bird, in foreign time, is between 5.30 and 6 p.m. We've got to distribute these cards to people that have crescent tattoos on their left legs immediately. That mark is the symbol of our rebellion. Those people are our allies. Unfortunately, we don't know where in the country they may be. I've got my friends scattered about to ensure we can get these er, we can get these cards to as many people as possible. Or as we possibly can. Sorajuro and Usahachi are also participating in the carrying out er, in carrying out this plan in the capital. Ah, Sora's probably not done much, says Luffy. <laughs> Additionally, to ensure we don't get lost on Onigashima, I've had Frenosuke get himself apprenticed to the craftsman that built Kaido's mansion, so he can get blueprints from him. A court, er, to accurately track the movements of Orochi's troops, Oudobi's become a geisha. She's currently trying to get closer to Orochi. I hear she's made quite the reputation for herself. I want to see Robin as a geisha, and of course Sanji, still just fawning over her. Brooke, your power will be useful. And gathering food in the capital. Huh? Really? Nami, your weather jutsu is like is like ninjutsu. You're a konoichi. A female ninja. Huh? Sanji, your cooking can quickly gather people from all around. It'll be perfect in finding people. Nami a konoichi? <laughs> of course. Uh, Carrot and Chopper, you'll accompany Kinu as she goes to meet with Inuarashi. Kinemon, I want to be a ninja too, says um, Chopper. Now then, put a leaf on your head. Ah, of course. Here we go. Fuku Fuku no Jutsu. And he changes all of their clothes. Cute. Ah, <clears throat> Chopper's ninja suit. Oh, it's adorable. And Brooke looks... Of course, they're using Brooke to disguise himself as a corpse. So that actually does work quite well. Okay. It's cute. Now then, after you've all acquainted yourselves with Wano, I'd like to, or er, I'd like you to get to your missions. Also, it's going to be very, very hard for Carrot and Chopper to sort of blend in around here. They're definitely not native uh, to Wano. Okay, I'd like you to get to your missions. 
Wait, Kinemon, is this really what a Konoichi looks like? Konoichis definitely look like that, and his nose is bleeding. I get the feeling you're lying, you know. Let me summon your guide. A real Konoichi. Shinobu. A real Konoichi? Is this, or this is gonna be a treat? And of course, uh, Sanji and Brooke, you called, and it's, <laughs> and it's like a horrible One Piece design. She's not even close, and then Nami slaps him. Sanji's quivering in shock. What are you supposed to be, Brooks? Has a uh, Luffy. I thought I was a guy wearing panties on his head. Probably not, though. And of course, he has the ghost thing on his head. It was one of two options. Hmm. If I, or if I close this up, it should be fine. She says. Foo foo foo. To be young. How wonderful. I am Shinobu, veteran Konoichi. Shinobu. I was once known as Kinemon's little sister. Now, foo foo foo. My oh. Because, yeah, of course, 20 years have passed. My special technique is the voluptuous jutsu. What's the matter? <laughs> San Sanji's just taken down. If Nami wasn't here, I think my heart would have broken. I understand, boy. A ripe woman is a dangerous thing. Now then, until the appointed rendezvous time, please spread out to your respective areas, says Kinemon. However, there are three people in particular that I want you all to find. Each is worth a hundred men. Kawamatsu, Denjiro, Boyashira. Once upon a time, those three served Lord Odin as I did. As samurai, they should be alive. Okay, so were they part of the scabbards or whatever? Uh, now we have Leftovers Town. It's the Head Mountain Bandits. Run, get out of town. Give that back, Luffy Taro. Luffy, er, give that back. Luffy Taro, Luffy Taro gave that to me. Shut up, and then, uh... He kicks her away. These guys got some pretty good stuff. Lord Chutenmaru. Fruits, alcohol, and rice, the uppity brats. Give that back. I wanted to feed it to my grandson. Shut it, geezer. Drop dead already. Alright. Who the hell did all of this? Giving him food? Playing the hero, eh? A fleeting dream that was. Head Mountain Bandits, leader Chutenmaru. We stole the food back. It's over. Besides, there's no samurai out there that'd want to protect these weaklings. This country doesn't even have any real men that could. F er, that could follow a strong samurai. Wano's done for. Right, Granny? Even if you live any longer, all those eyes will see is the cruelty of the world. Okay. Wait, please stop, bandits. Granny, run! I'll cut her down. Grandma! I believe in the words of Lady Toki. She's dead. Nine samurai will come to make true Lord Odin's wishes. I know it. Idiot. They don't even have a leader. How'll they ever fight? Yeah, Lord Chutenmaru! And people are getting thrown off. Lord Chutenmaru, that's... And then, uh, they all look shocked and he looks back. So, we finally meet Bandit Leader. A pirate by the name of Straw Hat Luffy ought to have come to these parts. Hundred pi- er, Hundred Beast Pirates figurehead. Jack. So I guess now they're other than, there's the headliners and they're calling him a figurehead rather than just calamity. All right. Man, Jack looks so freaking cool though, as always. His design, Jack is just the freaking coolest. That and like every time we see him, like we see the uh, gator shark thing he's riding, chewing people up. Every time we see him, it's like a brutality that feels special to One Piece. Like, we don't usually see people just as intense and brutal as Jack as a character, which I think is really cool. What if I said I never heard of him? What are you gonna do? The only reason you're still alive is because Kaido wants to make you one of his underlings. Alright then, here's my answer. And it looks like he goes in for an attack. Alright. And he's... Oh, Jack the Jobber. He slashes Jack. Ooh, don't make light of a samurai. Ooh. Don't know how I'm feeling about this. Lord Jack, you bastard. What a high-level battle. Okay. Get back. Shooting Maru and Jack have started fighting. This is it. Leftovers Town's going to be reduced to rubble. Alright. And now, they continue their battle. A gopher like you will never cut me down. I, 
I've outrun death. Lord Jack. Huh? L look, the sky. And now, clouds start swirling. Why? Hmm? And we see Law looking at it from a distance. What's that, all of a sudden? Rain? No. Oyster hat, come here. What's the matter, Travi? Huh? There's something in the sky. Ah, this is bad, Straw Hat. Okay. I'm trying not to look at the left yet. No bloody way. Why? Oi, Jack. Yes, sir? Bring those brats to me now. So is Kaido legitimately a dragon? Yeah, this is totally Kaido because it has the tattoos. Okay. Hold on, I'm just trying to piece this together. So is real dragon fruit confirmed, or is he a dragon that can just make himself look humanoid, maybe? And that's why they worship him as a god. That's crazy. I'm trying to just think. Or it could be, like some people said, just the ability to turn into animals in general, somehow, or beasts or whatever. A dragon, what the hell is that? That's Kaido. On the edge of a huge twist, the demon chief himself appears. Chapter 921, end. I really wasn't expecting him to be a legitimate dragon, and to look even more badass than he did as a human. God, it looks so freaking cool. So again, now we know Iota took the uh, week off. That was a good chapter. That was really, really cool. I like all the stuff with the samurai. I friggin' Kaido looks awesome. Only thing I'm not too big a fan of is how Shutenmaru, who looks really, really lame and dumb, uh, tur like, making Jack j Jack's job into another one. Um, so, uh, yeah. Oof. I don't know about that one. So, uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I, uh, <clears throat> I really liked everything. So I guess that's it. Uh, like if you did like the video and comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my first thoughts and reaction. Uh, subscribe for more One Piece, both anime and manga, much more on the channel. I've been doing two reviews of One Piece every week, uh, trying or reviewing two episodes in one video. Uh, every single week, trying to catch up because I'm a bit behind on the anime. Um, so that's been fun. I've been enjoying it. Whole Cake is really good in the anime, I think. Um, at least for One Piece standards, it's good. Uh, it's definitely being handled a lot better than I think Dress Rosa was. Uh, then again, Whole Cake, I feel like in the manga, was a lot better of a arc than Dress Rosa. Um, but that aside, uh, sub for any of that, plus tons of other stuff on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to talk to you there if you want, or uh, keep you updated there and stuff for the channel, of course. Uh, and if you want to talk to me or more of us about One Piece or anything else on the Discord server, it's free and open for anyone. So just ask, and I'll give you a link to the Discord server. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.